basically uh, you know since noor wali masood became the head of ttp his focus has been on two things number one is organizational discipline for which he introduced a code of conduct as well uh, recently they restructured their organizational uh, you know structure as well they are trying to now become an urban insurgency along the lines of the taliban insurgency so they have different ministries the so called shuras uh, and they have declared so, uh, you know so called vilayats or the provinces in pakistan as well uh, uh, there are nine provinces and seven ministries they have a military shura as well uh, the other uh, uh, you know focus of noor wali was uh, factional uh, unification so since he became the chief 22 militant factions including jamaatul ahrar were absorbed back into ttp central uh, and that increased ttp's organizational numerical and operational strength uh, what has happened in peshawar yesterday is a classical a principal agent problem where the agent is autonomous enough to go and do uh, attacks which they see as in line with their agendas but it is in contravention of the strategic objectives and organizational disciplines of the central body under which they operate which is uh, ttp central so this uh, for mohman taliban or mohman ttp or jamaat ul ahrar this was a revenge attack of their leader umar khalid khurasani's killing so the claim came from um, you know umar mukarram khurasani who replaced or succeeded umar khalid khurasani but this didn't came from ttp central spokesman who as a matter of fact as you said distanced uh, it, uh, himself and his organization uh, from the attack so this shows a decentralized nature of ttp which can be uh, you know visualized or imagine as a conglomerate uh, or a network of networks Uh, where a certain operational autonomy is uh, available to di- different factions uh, but they do come under organizational discipline so while i see this as a first major violation of the code of conduct and organizational discipline that noor wali masood introduced uh, but uh, this doesn't mean that there are major divisions i don't think that ttp beyond a warning is going to do anything about it uh, this is good in a sense that if these differences persist further this will weaken ttp because mohammed uh, is a very strong faction within ttp after the masood faction so if there is a mohammed and masood uh, you know split which is too early to suggest uh, this will benefit pakistan from a counter terrorism standpoint so this is where we are this is first organizational discipline breach by mohammed taliban so let's see what action ttp under noor wali masood takes against mohammed taliban i think we'll have to wait and see what kind of punishment uh, uh, they will hand down uh, to mohammed taliban for this violation because uh, you know hitting mosques among other target is out of bound uh, or illegal as per uh, ttp's code of conduct uh, but my own hunch is uh, uh, beyond a warning they will not do much about it it will more be like a slap on the wrist of mohammed taliban because as i said it's a very second most strong or the strongest faction uh, so i think uh, ttp central cannot afford to alienate uh, the faction Uh, so it will be a slap on the wrist not more than that but as i said wait and see what actions do they take against the group again too early to suggest that i don't think so they'll revert uh, to those days but within ttp i think they would like to maintain uh, their own uh, autonomy where they wherever they have to attack uh, and those attacks are you know contradicting ttp's organizational discipline they will still go ahead and do those attacks uh, because uh, you know uh, ttp mohammed is more extreme uh, within the various ttp factions uh, they are they were and they are opposed to peace talks 
they sabotaged the peace talks in 2013 14 as well when they carried out the um, fa district court attacks through uzbek militants uh, the peace talks were sabotaged uh, 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 more or less they are doing the same now uh, creating problems for ttp central so i think they would maintain their autonomy within the broader organizational discipline of ttp but then how ttp deals with the mohammad taliban challenge uh, we will we'll have to wait and see that you know how this relationship transpires if there is a split uh, this is good news from a counter terrorism standpoint for pakistan uh, but um, if if uh, uh, you know ttp central uh, tolerates these violations then i think more deadly attacks are possible uh, going ahead i think uh, uh, a we have seen condemnation from the taliban so uh, uh, you know uh, at the diplomatic level that's their response uh, i think uh, there will be some pressure on ttp uh, to you know bring mohammad taliban under the organizational discipline and make sure that they don't do such attacks in in future Uh, uh you know they might demote uh, uram mukaram khurasani um, within their hierarchy but beyond that i don't think so any kinetic action will be taken against them they might be asked to come and explain their position and they might be given a warning beyond that i don't think so they will do much because uh, obviously if the tta pressurizes ttp and ttp puts pressure on Uh, you know mohammad faction uh, their real fear is that this is a very strong faction and if this faction of mohammad taliban which is more extreme as well moves towards iskp which is the arch nemesis of both tta and ttp uh, uh, this is something they cannot afford so i think uh, again at the cost of repeating myself uh, beyond uh, a warning and a you know slap on the wrist Uh, nothing much uh, will happen